Welcome to Heftor Edition, Episode 5. So we're going to be looking at adding the battery output to our polybar. So let's get started, shall we? So let's open up our file manager and we're going to navigate to polybar directory and open the polybar config. There we go. So with this one, we are going to search for battery. There we go. So now we're in the battery module. And see here, our battery output is BAT0 and our adapter is ACO. So that's obviously not correct for my laptop. So what we'll do, we'll open up a terminal and we're going to run a command. Now the command's going to show us what our adapter output is and battery output. So we're going to go ls-1 and it's going to be sys forward slash class forward slash power uh, what was it power supply that's all right oh no, it's supposed to be underscore supply there we go so now we've got ADP1 for our adapter and bat1 for our battery so let's change that on our config so bat1 and DP1 all right so now we're going to go back to the top and we want our bar here so main bar herbs left for me uh, you might be on BSP window manager they're universal so uh, most of the modules are universal but the actual workspace modules are different between the two polybars and that's the only real difference between them so we want to go down to modules right and just before date we're going to add battery and save it and we should get our battery output there. Now see how it's got the ugly green background? So we need to change something in the back down on the battery module. So see here in our format full prefixes, there's no full prefix for foreground and background. So we're going to change that. So that'll be full foreground and full background. Save it. And now we've got our nice beautiful little battery there. So that's all there is for that. So thanks for watching and hopefully it was informative and see you in the next video.